Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com and EatingThaiFood.com. I am in Bangkok, Thailand, and I am in an area called Sapan Kwai, which is excellent for street food. And I'm on a street, this road is called Padi Pat, and they're all along both, both sides of this road, there are lots and lots of street food stalls in the evening. And so it is, I think it's about 5 p.m. right now, I have just stopped at a place that makes bami, which are egg noodles and also uh, one ton style dumplings and also they have barbecue pork and yeah, I'm, it's evening, it is a very sweaty evening in Bangkok and I'm ready to dig into some hot noodles. Okay, so the first dish I got is bami gyo hang and this is dry egg noodles, so he um, he took a handful of noodles and then he blanched them in hot water real quickly. He topped it with a bunch of different things. There are some pieces of pork. There are some crispy, this is like a, a chicharron, a crispy piece of pork. There are some fish cakes and fish balls. And then on the other side over here, these are the dumplings, which I believe are filled with pork. And what else is in here? Oh, some crunchies and you can either get the dry version or the soup version. I just decided to get it dry, but then he gave me a bowl of soup on the side with a bone, uh, pork, and I guess I'll just taste that broth first. It's really your preference if you want to have the dry noodles like I, I just ordered, or if you want to get the noodles with soup already in it. It really is up to you. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice and salty, but really smooth and yeah, definitely very porky. And I can taste those that fresh crunch from the green onions. Uh, with these egg noodles, they are served quite plain. Maybe just a little bit of sauce, but what you're supposed to do is add all your own toppings. So I will go in with some dry chili flakes, which is one of my preferences. Also, I will go with a, a couple scoops of vinegar, which are my two favorite noodle toppings or noodle seasonings. Okay, vinegar. And then the easiest thing to do is just kinda really mix it all up. Get all that chili mixed in there. Oh, that's looking good. Okay, I gotta. I think I need to have my first bite, one of the dumplings and maybe some of the noodles, or no, a dumpling and a piece of pork and then I'll have some noodles after that. Oh, oh there's, okay. Oh, that's good. That dumpling is marvelous. Um, I, th I guess it's filled with a mixture of minced pork and then it has a really nice uh, sesame seed or sesame oil flavor. And then with those chilies, of course, and the meat inside of the dumpling is actually so soft and tender that it sort of just melts into the wrapper, that noodle, that egg noodle wrapper of the dumpling. Oh, that's good. And with that vinegar, and chilies. Okay, now I'll have some of the, oh, where's that piece of, okay, crispy piece of pork, and then I'm gonna eat some of the egg noodles with it. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to, uh oh, it's all stuck into one wad. Okay, I'm gonna have to bite, I'm gonna have to bite that. Mm. They're nice and soft, and then with that chili, with that vinegar, Oh, and that just washes it down with a glorious flavor. Yeah, those are really good noodles. And actually, I could add more. I think it could use a little more chili. But the quality of the egg noodles is really good. Um, I think they are. They must be handmade or or made at home. And then, yeah, really good quality noodles and good ingredients. of noodles went down very very easily and very quickly just in a couple bites but that was delicious and I forgot to say from the beginning that he also seasoned it with some deep-fried garlic so crispy deep-fried garlic in oil and that gave it just an incredible fragrance as well um, yeah that was that was delicious this one is only the the dumplings the wonton dumplings and then with soup and then there's vegetables, there are the crispy pieces of pork skin, there are the fried dumpling, and there is a fish ball as well. But mostly these are just, this is just a bowl of the gyunam, which are the dumplings. And a good old dollop of the good chili flakes, dry chili flakes. 
and then vinegar. And some people like to add fish sauce and sugar as well, but normally I just go for the vinegar and the chili flakes. And then stir that up and let me get, actually I'll, I'll place one of these dumplings so I can get some of the soup, put it into my spoon. Okay, that was a lot of vinegar in that bite. I think both the dumplings and the egg noodles are both superb. And then all those toppings and all those slices of pork and all those other things are just kind of bonuses on top of the egg noodles and those dumplings. Okay, just finished with that. I am really sweating right now after that hot soup and chilies and it's a really humid evening tonight. Uh, but that was, that was really delicious. And uh, yeah, the combination of those fresh bami egg noodles and those fresh one-ton dumplings delicious and there are a bunch of street food stalls along this road near Sapan Kwai and lots and lots of things to choose from so this is a great place to eat street food in Bangkok and yeah that was that was delicious so thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please remember to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below I would love to hear from you and I will see you on the next food video